Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's quick tip. I'm Chris, and I'm here with Mike. And today we'll be talking about how to properly scan a measurement chart in ErgoSoft using a handheld spectrophotometer. So, Mike, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Well, once you have your chart generated and printed, then you can move on to the next step, which is measuring. Here is our chart. You can see here it starts with the black patch and it ends with the black line. Each row is going to start with the black patch here and end with a black line. So we're going to scan from to the left of the black patch all the way past the right of the black line. We'll talk about that more in just a minute, but here is the ruler. So to align your ruler, you want to line it up at the bottom of the row of patches. So you can see this is the line. There's a clear piece here. So I'm lining that up right at the bottom. Just like that. We have our spectro here. It's already calibrated and everything. And we're going to take this. And there's two little notches here. There and there that go into the little nubs. There's two little uh, nub things on here. And this sits on there like that. And the whole thing will slide. It won't really move too much, but it'll slide. So then what we do is we push the button on the side here, right there, and you hold it, and you'll hear a beep. So you put it to the side. You want to start it. Once again, I'll show you that. So this is the aperture. So it's in the middle of the device. So what we need to do is put the middle of the device sort of to the left of the first patch. So I usually just put it so I can see the patch there. And we're going to push the button and hold it until we hear the beat. Slide it about this fast. And then you want to finish past the line. See it? And let go. And then... You look at the screen, you see if it, if it moved, if it changed from needing to scan the first row to needing to scan the second row. I see it did change. So then all we do is slide this down to the second row, slide this back, pass the, the patch, right? Push the button, hold it for the beep, slide it across, pass the line, and let go. And what Ergosoft is doing is, I think I mentioned this earlier, but it's seeing the contrast between all of these patches and the lines in between. So if, you're, if you don't measure all the way across, or if for some reason it doesn't see all of the patches for some reason, it will give you an error message, unexpected number of measurement values. So for instance, if we go like this, push the button and hold it, start measuring and stop. See, it gives you unexpected number of measurement values error. Also, if you go too slow, like this slow, is probably too slow. And then this fast is probably too fast. There is a fine line of how fast and how slow you can go. I usually go about this fast, like that. And that always works for me. Um, so let's move this down to this patch here. We'll scan this. There we go. And then we'll go to the last one here. Pass the patch here. Push the button, hold it. Here, beep. Slide across. Let go. There we go. That's basically it. Put this back on the calibration thing to protect the aperture and the lens. Clean up your desk and you're good to go. And that's the process for measuring a chart with a handheld spectro. Very helpful, Mike. Thank you very much. Uh, as always, if anyone has any questions, please contact us. And thanks for watching.